tube. Lady Liberty Stacker back with one of my uh, trademark after the unboxing uh, pickups. Uh, last two or three weeks I've been picking up a coin here, a coin there, filling out my collections and things I'm working on. Uh, this particular uh, set of pickups um, has to do with my um, south of the border uh, Mexican or Panama uh, pickups that I found. Um, I've always liked these these coins, but since visiting a local coin shop in late February, I uh, two, on two occasions um, picked up some Balboas and um, um, a couple of uh, Mexican coins from the shop and got an incredibly good deal on those. And uh, I've been back since probably two or three more times and he hasn't had anything new in and uh, honestly he hasn't been real enthusiastic. So um, at any rate, I've managed to uh, find some deals on eBay by looking at auctions or um, buy it now, that kind of thing. But I think I've been better off with auctions. I can get the best deals. Um, purchasing these coins that um, have uh, hold their value but also um, have equity built in. So if you can get them under market value, it gives you a lot better chance for appreciation down the line. But anyway, without further ado, let me show you what I have. Uh, starting over here, um, I found a seller that had the Panama Umbalboa coins and he had several of these. Uh, that were that were rain, had rainbow toning on them, and this one you can see the rainbow toning. Uh, 1931 happens to be the key date. Uh, they only minted 200,020 of these guys, 20 of them being proofs, and um, so that that leaves it at 200,000. I've never seen them toned like this before. Just just really really neat looking. And if you clean the clean these coins, you really should never clean these coins like this especially the ones that are toned um, because they're, it's going to come right off and it's going to uh, destroy the value of the coin and it might be worth melt value if that's about it but this is a 1931 there it is it's hard to focus and then there's a 19, couple of 1934's this one um, wasn't in quite as good a condition it had a little bit of the uh, um, tarnish, not tarnish, but the toning rubbed off around his chin um, a little bit on the back. You can see it's probably been handled a little bit extra. Uh, these coins actually were from a mint bag from an estate sale. They were actually going to be melted down to make more silver and they were uh, either bought or taken from that. But you can see the rainbow toning on it. I, um, I looked at these thoroughly when I, I got them in thinking, oh, maybe this is fake toning. I don't know, like if they torched it or something. But if that were the case, um, the lettering wouldn't be crystal clear. The detail wouldn't be crystal clear. I held them up to a jeweler's loop, and uh, everything checked out fine. I used the magnet test on these. They checked out fine. So they're, they're really cool. So I just picked up three of these, and I made a deal with the seller. Or he knocked off $2.50 per coin um, because he could ship them all out at the same time. And uh, he just relisted it as a buy it now, and it worked out real well. So anyway... There's my Balboas, and while we're on the subject of Balboas, I picked up another um, Balboa from eBay, and the guy even threw in a uh, 1954 quarter as a way of saying thank you. This guy had his Balboa proof marked down from $69 down all the way down to $37. He threw in a quarter. I thought it was kind of a nice gesture. Um, he had it all packaged up and taped up. I put it in an airtight. It came in a baggie. But I put it in an airtight. This is a 1966 Umbalboa. Beautiful. They they uh, made some proofs from 66 to 74. And this has a mintage of 13,000, the second lowest. I think the lowest was 1972 at 10,000 um, coins. They didn't have anything for currency. These are just proofs. And this is an, an excellent condition. I think the seller just wanted to unload... Um, his inventory and this kind of stuff. I don't know, but he had it reduced. Um, and and the and the reverse of this coin is the uh, traditional coat of arms. They took away the Lady Liberty uh, on the back, but this is still just magnificent. It says Republica de Panama. It is ninety percent silver. 
It's 0.7734 troy ounces. It's the same um, weight and purity and fineness as the uh, original bullion currency. Beautiful coin. So they had another one um, listed at the same time for $89. So this one, I got some built-in equity. So I'm going to go ahead and put it over here um, with my Balboas. Uh, the next coin I found was a... Um, 1947 Mexico 5 peso coin in excellent shape. This was an auction. I bid at the uh, kind of put a bid in at the last minute. I saw it while watching TV last Saturday night. And uh, I put it in this 2x2 two two flip. But uh, it was in excellent shape. 1947. It had a lower mintage than the 1948. Um, it weighs 30 grams. It's 40 millimeter. Um, it has more silver than a silver dollar. This is a really, really cool coin, and I did not have one. I have another one on order. I wish it were in for this video, but it appears to be in similar condition. Um, but 0.868 uh, troy ounces of 90% silver, or 90% in the coin, 0.868 troy ounces of silver. And then on the back is the coat of arms. This is just a magnificent piece, a l one of my favorites now. So here it is, uh, the 1947 Mexico 5 peso coin. And then I found another uh, 1950 uh, Mexico 5 peso Southern Railroad coin. This one is in uncirculated, brilliant uncirculated condition. Not a Gen BU, but it's in excellent shape. I just picked this up. It came that, this way. Didn't it? I think they put it in a little um, pouch, paper pouch, but I uh, almost hate to touch it. Oh, here we go. And then there is the uh, uh, verse with the coat of arms, Cinco Peso, the mint mark, 1950. And they minted 100, 200,000 of these, but half of them were melted down to make the 1968 Mexican uh, Olympic commemorative coin. And of the remaining 100,000, I think 50,000 were held back for something else. So there's, I think there's only like 50,000 of these coins out there. That's very low, very low considering um, it's a bullion type coin. But there it is. And the other coin I had just uh, picked up earlier in the week, I put it into an airtight. And um, there it is. And both I had got both of those for about $50. They're not gem BUs, um, but they're uncirculated. And uh, fairly, this one's in excellent condition, too. Look at that. There's a scratch there below the uh, purity of the silver. But other than that, it's just in fabulous conditions. I wanted to show that again. And um, i got to find a 2x2 a two two for this coin here. Now, the next coins I uh, picked up, a Scottsdale had an auction for the Unsa. A commemorative coin that they minted between 1978 and 1980. The 1980 coins were the most uh, uh, minted. They had over 6 million of them. Oh, my camera's not focusing. It's the balance scale Anza coins. And this one is, uh, anyway, most common. In excellent shape. A little bit better than Atmex that I had purchased 10 from. But I bid on these. They had a bunch of auctions. So I have uh, four nineteen eighty, And then I like the 1979. They minted four million of those, but even rarer uh, of the four million, you have a 1979. And this one, both of these here, are actually a type four, meaning the scale points between the U and the N, and the, uh, the Una hangs lower than a typical coin. So that's um, an excellent shape. And then the lettering on the uh, obverse with the year, year, Casa de Moneda de Mexico, the lettering is all very closely spaced together in this coin. So I thought that was extremely interested. I wanted, this is what I wanted when I originally bought from Atmex. I got all 1980s and they were in okay shape. Again, here's another 1979 I ordered by itself. I picked this up for about 28 bucks, And uh, there you can see uh, the left side of the scale is pointing between the U and the N. And that is the Type 4 1979. 
gorgeous coin, gorgeous shape. I just really, really love these. They're excellent. They're sterling silver, 0.925, so you don't have to worry about uh, as gentle handling as 0.999 silver. And then this is, again, the 1980, and you can see the scale points right at the U. And then if you flip it over on the obverse, uh, the lettering is actually close together on this one, too. There's one of them that lettering is not. Now, I also managed to find the 1978. The mintage on these guys was only 280,000, much rarer than either the 79 or the 1980. And this one, you can see the spacing of the letters on the obverse is, is much further spaced apart. And then, of course, you flip it over, and you have this left part of the scale pointing to the U. But this 1978 was in phenomenal condition, and I picked it up all by itself. So there we have it. So anyway, the difference, here's a 79 on the right, 78 on the left. Let's see if I can show you the, the difference. See where the scale is pointing? The scale is pointing to the U on the left and between the U and the N on the right with the 1979. They call those a Type 4. So it's really cool. I, I like to go after things that are a little rare. Uh, it takes a little bit of effort to find them, a little bit of patience to find them. Uh, but these are my Mexican pickups. Like I said, I was expecting uh, another um, 1947 Me Mexico 5 peso coin and also a lot of two more 1979s. Uh, one was a Type 1 and the other was a Type 4, but it's not here yet. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and make this because I have other things coming and I wouldn't have a chance to make this video. Um, sorry about the length, but I just wanted to explain about some of the coins and that one is one of my favorites right there. And then I, just, I love them all, really. But anyway, any questions you guys have, if you want to like, comment, uh, subscribe to my channel, please do. Or if you have any questions, uh, please fire away. If you're new watching this, I would love to help you. Um, I've been at this six months, but I really feel I'm starting to get it under my belt now. And I've, I'm really grateful for all the help I've gotten along the way as well. So anyway, thanks guys for watching and have a wonderful day.